Shepherd. 
Last week we had youth camp, had hundreds of kids away, and we saw young people just get delivered from spirits of suicide, from death, from self-hatred, rejection, and much more. And you know, we're just singing this song unplanned, and it's just the Lord, the deliverer is, is here in the room right now. A deliverer is here in the room. It's one of his names. He's a deliverer. Something you need to understand about deliverance is that Jesus came to set captives free. And Isaiah 61 declares this. He came to literally set captives free. We were created in the image and likeness of God to actually know him intimately, to be loved by him, to be completely free. And when sin came into this world, what the enemy was after was our authority that we had in Christ, because he had none. And when we yielded our submission to him, we didn't just disobey God, we obeyed a new master. And in obeying a new master, we took on a new nature. Not a new nature, but the nature of sin. And that sin nature is what Jesus came to nail to the cross. When he died on the cross, his blood was shed, it dripped down from the cross. The pure, spotless Lamb of God, slain to take away the sins of the world, nailed to the cross. The only propitiation sacrifice for the sins of humankind. No other way. No amount of new age practice, religion, prayer meetings, serving stuff will ever have enough merit to remove anybody's sin. Only the blood of Jesus has power to remove sin. Only the blood of Jesus. There is no other way to the Father except through faith in what Jesus is, what He's done. But I'm gonna propose to you right now, it's not even enough to say, oh, the blood's just covered me, the blood's just covered me, listen. When the Passover happened and when, right before it's Israel was about to be delivered from the hands of the Egyptians, God commanded Moses and the children of Israel to take a pure spotless lamb, sacrifice it, and put blood on the doorpost of each house of the Hebrews and to stay in the house. Because the death angel, the judgment is coming and it's going to take the firstborn of every son in the region. See, I'd like to propose to you right now that they had to stay covered in the blood. They had to stay obedient to the word of the Lord. You know, you can be here right now and just say, well, it's just under the blood, but if there's no obedience, I'd, I'd question if you're actually under the blood. So right now what I'm saying is, is there, <laughs> there's two things. Listen, the enemy wants to come and take away our authority, our righteousness in Christ and remove our, our right standing before God so that we walk with this crippled, hobbled life. He wants to get you to question your authority in Christ by, by opening a door of sin in your life and by giving him legal grounds to have a foothold in your life, which means a footing by which he can operate. And so right now we want to give you, we want to invite you into this place where you can remove the foothold the enemy's got there and get under the blood of Jesus through repentance and confession and then pulling down those lies, amen, and then receiving deliverance from the Lord because it belongs to Him and Him alone. So the first thing I wanna do in this right now is if you're in this place and you don't know Christ, you don't know Jesus, I'm not asking you right now, do you, do you go to church? I'm not asking you, do you perform religious ceremonies and stuff? I'm asking you, is Jesus the Lord of your life? There's a difference between mental assent 
and actually knowing God. Mental assent is, oh yeah, I agree, I agree with that truth. It's kind of like, I agree that the sky is blue. I agree the world is round. If that's your faith in Jesus, you have no more faith in the devil than the demons do in God. So faith in God looks like turning from sin, turning towards the Lord, and receiving what He's done for you on Calvary as the propitiation for your sin. So right now, if you're in this place and you'd say, I haven't, I want to surrender my life to Christ fully, turn from sin and repent and trust Jesus to be the Lord and Savior of my life. If that's you right now and you want to do that all over this place, just raise your hand up high. Just raise it up high. Be bold. Come on. Raise it up high. Right here? Yeah, your hands up. Come on, man. God bless you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right here? Come on. So good. Right here, too? You're raising your hand? Come on. Jesus. Let's go. Come on. We're going to surrender to Jesus. We're going to kick the devil out of our lives. Depression. Suicide. If you raise your hand, I want you to come right up here right now. Quick. Run. Go. Run. Quick. Get out of the blood. Come on. Anybody else? Come on. Come on. Okay, we're, here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're all gonna pray together with, with you guys, okay? So say this to me right now. Say, Jesus, I come just as I am, as a sinner. Forgive me, wash me in your blood. Make me brand new. I turn away from sin, I repent. Come into my life. I trust you. Be my Lord and my Savior. I repent of all witchcraft, new age, sexual morality, lying. Forgive me, God. Come into my life. Wash me in your blood. I make you the only Lord and Savior of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now listen, these guys are gonna pray with you guys. Don't move, okay? They're gonna pray with you guys. So here's what we're gonna do. If you have an open door in your life, you need to remove the enemy's right to be there through confession and repentance, okay? So we're gonna do this. Just receiving his mercy and his grace. So right now, just, if that's you, just put both hands in the air. Thank you, God. You need to step into the deliverance of God. So right now, just lift your hands in the air. Say, Jesus, I repent of this open door. Now just specifically say it to the Lord and say, Jesus, thank you for your blood on the cross that was enough for this sin. And I confess my sin before you and trust you are the faithful one to forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Thank you, God. Now just receive mercy right now. You're forgiven. Receive forgiveness. Now, right now, say, on the authority of Jesus' name. Come on, say it like a son or daughter. On the authority of Jesus' name. I renounce you, you devil. Get out of my life. I receive the mind of Christ, the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to keep me free in Jesus' name.